Hey, I'm the Kathlon Gamer, and welcome to Infection Free Zone. This is from Jutsu Games, and this is a game that's been on a lot of people's radar for a long time. It was an alpha. About a year and a half ago, I saw a good amount of content on this, got really excited for this game. It has not changed much since then. I think the biggest thing, which is also the biggest feature, in my opinion, of this game, is that anywhere, anywhere on the planet, can be your home in this game. It'll take real life maps and convert it into a playable game zone. Uh, I will not take my direct home, but I'll take my old stomping grounds for this one. I am so excited to play this game. I made one trial run to get things going, get the flow of this game. Like I said, I saw some content a while back, so I knew the gist of the game, but didn't know how much it had changed since then and wanted to get used to the mechanics a little bit. It's kind of a tough game, too. It's kind of a tough game, let me tell you. We're now into beta on this one, so of course things will continue to change with this title, but it is crazy fun, and I strongly recommend this game to you before we even get into it. You're going to love it as much as uh, most everybody seems to. The, the reviews on Steam have been very good for this game thus far. To an extent, my old stomping grounds are still very much my stomping grounds to this day. I, I happen to coach at the very school that's going to be right at the heart of, of this area. Track practice here in a couple of hours, so uh, I'll be venturing that way before too long. Uh, it's so cool to, to play a game that does this. This is, of course, not the first game to take this concept and pull from maps and put you into the heart of it. But I've seen and played a number of those games. They don't do justice at all to the zone that you're playing in and where this one really just takes that two-dimensional top-down map and grows it and develops it and it certainly doesn't match house for house things like that but lot for lot and the size of the buildings at least uh top-down view very accurate and it is such a neat feature because that's the bulk of the comments in in, in steam as well is it just it hits different when you're defending your own home turf. As I'm still pretty new to this thing, I'm not going to go crazy yet. In fact, uh, from that first playthrough, I'm tempted to turn things down. But that's not the best way to learn games sometimes. I mean, it's, it, it's a good way to learn bad habits when you take things for granted. Uh, eventually, we might turn things up. But for now, we'll go standard medium difficulty the world as we know it is gone what we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere it made people turn extremely violent aggressive and unrestrainable soon later the infected became bloodthirsty more like vampires than human there was chaos panic and war for survival Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements, loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, and the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. So I've made the discovery that some map tiles work out a little differently than others, and the specific zone that I was trying to uh, load did not. 
but I shifted over a spot and it worked just fine. So we're going to be picking our headquarters here and this is going to be one of the most important pieces. I mean, for one thing, it's urban. We're surrounded by buildings. Lots and lots of buildings. But with our headquarters, you can see we have a living quarters and a storage capacity and we want to have something that's fairly sizable. We can't do the largest as the game kind of limits us on that and we've got to be within this particular tile for our first zone. This is looking like one of the more defensible locations. I also know that we're going to need research at some point and having a school relatively close by will certainly help with that. But like I said, this is a very urban section, a uh, very urban map. That's going to make it a little difficult for some various tasks. But having sub open space and a lot of trees nearby will make a pretty big difference. We're going to make our headquarters here. All right, so it's going to provide us with a series of objectives to help us out along the way. Uh, right now, we can have a maximum of six squads. Our first task is to look for food. Let me give you a quick lay of the land if you're new to this game. So there's 40 citizens. Right now, 36 are available. Reason being is we have a squad. That squad is four of our citizens. So they are already separate from the general public group. We, so we kind of have a, a citizen or worker section. And then we have our military, the guards, the ones that are going to do the actual fighting. Though the citizens themselves, to an extent, can cover defensive points. Uh, we have our build menu, our resource gather menu. But what we need to do is follow along with these. Uh, here is our list of objectives so we can show or hide that we have a research panel but we don't have anything to do research with right now we're gonna have to gather that and we have our weather forecast this is our current mood the time and each day is a month in this game uh, these are our resources we have food and you can see how we have various types of food so that's just canned food versus food rations versus bags of grain and raw meat uh, we have our ammunition, our various types of weapons, pistols, sniper rifles, assault rifles, shotguns. We have fuel, we have construction materials including wood, metal, uh, bricks, and basic tools. And then these are also materials with specific applications like medicine. Right now our four squad members are all at full health, all carrying pistols. And we need to begin scavenging. We're looking for four cans of food, and we need to bring them back to the headquarters. Uh, the easiest way to do this initially is to kind of go out and back from the first location. If you hold down shift, you can set up more than one command, and they'll go from command to command. Their capacity is just four items. Fortunately, they won't just keep going even though they can't grab things. If they get to four items, they'll turn around, come back, unload, and then resume. Let's go ahead and unpause and get things going. Let's see, we have uh, speed management three different times or pause to uh, select things. We've already found ammunition and two cans of food at our very first location. That's already a very good start on that one. The larger the building, the longer it takes to scavenge, which makes a lot of sense. You go into the building and you've got apartment by apartment or room by room to clear out and check. So bigger it is, longer it takes. We were pretty quick on this one. Now our scavenging process is just a quarter of the way through checking this rather large building. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit while we're waiting on uh, this one to carry out. But actually, I already know what some of our things are going to be like. Let's gather some wood. I was actually hoping to have the first episode out a full day earlier than it's going to make it, but life happens, and in this case, it was, well, the game's primary issue <laughs> with not wanting to load up that map and me giving it significant time before I then shifted over a tile and it loaded right up. 
That being said, I had to head out to track practice, and by the time I was able to get through all my other workload for the evening, it's now the next day. But let's go ahead and get on with the game. So we have our single crew that is beginning their their scavenging mission, making their way around the local area. And we have this nice uh, row of forest here that's going to supply us plenty of wood. We've already got it assigned. All right, so we are uh, just about done with that very first objective, but the next one is now to add additional housing. And I think the, the most obvious candidates are going to be these two. Uh, what do we have for them? And actually, why don't we go in and choose shelter? So we'd be looking 127, but also very, very costly in terms of resources that we do not have right now. That one's even more. <laughs> that one is even more so. Um, those are much bigger than I anticipated. The lesser, the 171, will be our new large barracks. That's just a that's a lot of wood. Chief, it's gonna take a bit to get that built up. Big for us to adapt as a whole. It'll cost us too many resources, but we can still adapt it partially and only convert as much space as oh, we need. Yeah. So as this game goes forward, night is the problem, as they have vampire-like tendencies. Uh, it's the light that they fear, so they want to stay in shelter during the night, uh, during the day. But at night, they're going to come out, and that means we do face issues. Carry on. We need those resources. Our people. Sir, it is too dangerous for unarmed civilians to work after nightfall. Everyone will return home. So the civilians okay. Let's be go safe. home daily. Our military crews are the ones where it's up to you to make a decision whether you continue uh, searching or not. And this comes down to a bit of micromanagement. I'm going to speed things up a little bit as we go into the night. But what we need to watch out for is incoming hordes. If we do have the incoming hordes, even though they are still out working, sleep is not a factor uh, with this group, we can continue to work. But if we see a horde, we definitely want to stay put bunker down. So far we are in the clear. Nothing to worry about there. I think one thing I'd like to do as we have plenty of citizens that are sitting uh, rather idle, I'd like to also assign some additional tasks here. We have anything coming up. Rubble. There's some rubble. Okay. So we can get some brick. Okay. There's our first group. Sir, just saw a group of infected. They might not Very be small group. We'll get ready. Get ready this is fight. not a, a threat. There's what? Two? Three? No problem. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to stay there. The easiest way, out in the open, there's always danger. If you are behind a shelter and they come in for you, you have protection and they become very very easy to take out there you go and we took virtually no damage there and we can get back on with our uh, searches Receiving. Let's do it. and back to the initial assignment we'll get the immediate vicinity cleared first okay we're on to morning and gathering metal is also going to be a big need. This night was easy. There are sure to be some infected around here. We should build some defenses before the next nightfall. Okay. Agree. Time to build a build watchtower. Now the first and most obvious use for the watchtower is going to be in our open spaces where it's going to cover the most ground. Jeep, there are signs of smoke. It's coming out of a building. I think there might be some people there. I recommend we go and investigate. All right, this becomes one of our top missions Let's go is bringing in more civilians. So we want to send a squad to do this, and of course 
we have just that single squad. They want us to raise another squad, but I sent so many people out for various tasks that we don't have the spares at the moment. Whoa. Okay, that's a rather large group. It looks like they might be headed for our building. They are. Alright, we've got their attention to come to us now. Oh, not quite close enough though. We'll get their attention and then hop inside. If they keep coming for us, that's fine. Okay. At least we'll... Get ready to defend the zone. Have a better head-to-head. -head. Without damage, that's good. No one got injured. And we might as well reassign... Oh, another. Uh, we will change our orders to just get inside. They're coming straight for our headquarters, so... No choice. We have to deal with this one. This is going to be awfully close, though. Oh, we just got inside. Let's see how they're trying to climb up the side of the building. But instead of taking the damage to our squad members, the damage goes to the building itself. And you can see now that the condition has dropped slightly. So we'll want to set that up for repairs. Those repairs are a lot easier than replacing the lives. The lives are a much more important resource than the uh, there are some repair resources that we had to use there. Oh, they're headed straight for us too. The game does this a little bit by design. Makes day one, uh, oh, here's an enemy. Whoa. Day two, they kind of let you know that they're, they mean business and they send quite a few groups at you. Uh, to deal with, to handle in that first night. The big lesson from my first run was don't be so aggressive and go get in their face because I definitely lost some squads that way. What we're going to want to be doing with our squad tomorrow is never mind our current trajectory of, of going after items. We want to go get those additional survivors. So we'll be heading that way right in the morning. We might stop by a building or two on the way. Fuel? Oh, nice. Building. Chief, we just found an assault rifle. This will come in handy against large hordes. Let's just not waste too much ammo on nothing. Right. Use it with caution. Going there. We definitely have a limited amount of ammo for now. Uh, they did want us to make another squad, but with all the assignments that I created, uh, that's just not happening at the moment. One more trip. Plenty of time to make sure we get through that job today, though. But we're already collecting the brick. That's helping us out. We've got 28 there. Uh, we're, you, we're using that wood up, though, as fast as we can. But that large building will be up and running relatively soon, which is going to be a big help for us. Chief, we found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. Could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? More mouths to feed, but we're in an area surrounded by scavenging, by food. So uh, people are our most valuable resource, so we will 100% say yes. Hours yet. Not terribly useful. The moon seems so close to the earth tonight, reflecting the sunlight. Guys, Let's do it. Clear. Oh, nice. As bright as the day. There should be no infected on the street tonight. That's awesome. So no infected out because of a bright moon. Too much light. They don't come out. Night. So uh, what we want to do now, since we do have five new, even though we need a lot more scavengers than what we have active right now, those unemployed, that's... We want to put them to use. We want to make another squad. Reporting. There we go. Alright, so we have a second squad now. And with this squad, 
they're free to work throughout the night. There is no enemy action that's going to be uh, threatening to us in the short term. So what direction do I want to go initially with this group? Uh, parking, fuel canisters, more parking for fuel canisters. So I'm taking a little bit of a risk here early on. We don't have the towers. Building clear. We don't have the housing, so it's keeping you know the mood rather low. No more to find. Like there's some definite issues no with find. going big early. We're on the move. We're also gonna want to plant some fields, and we'll do it near our headquarters here. They want me to put in three, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in four. We have to build a large antenna. A local library or university would be a good place to search for information on how to make it work. This is the first high school that I attended. Another one incoming. Requesting support. Oh. How did we get tonight? I didn't even know. All right, and how are these four so wounded? Huh, okay, we wanna... We're on the move. Move bit Ready by bit, action. we're we're not gonna... Roger, infected incoming. That's a big group Ready coming in. Uh, Let's do it. We're gonna go over here with Our this one to try to help, but we've got to avoid the horde and then come into support when the time is right, maybe go here first. The damage is minimal for now though, so we're a lot safer inside than outside. Horde oh, yeah, horde spotted. We do not want to engage them in the open, so we'll let this single squad take it. Okay, so we took out those first two Hordes. This one's a bit of an issue, but here comes two more, so we're definitely staying put. I would like to... Receiving. Are they doing anything with that building? They are. On my way. We're going to get their attention and draw them in the way I did before. We'll get them. Going there. Roger. Except for we don't have control of this building, which actually makes us vulnerable. Shoot. I didn't think about that. This squad's got a heck of a fight on their hands. Take him down. <sighs> 10 8 points. Oh, we got through it. Okay. Let's get home. But like I mentioned earlier, this is a little bit of a risk where we don't have the defenses up yet as we're still trying to get some basics under control and there's some definite consequences to uh, my choices at the moment but that should be this night just about through all right looks like we're gonna have to clear this building out let's get the squad that's uh, not doing terribly well uh, or not having a really rough day there we go. We'll scavenge while we're there. And then we will... Do I want to get the vehicle? This is the squad I would want to do it, but I think I would want both squads to do it. Uh, as there's a good chance that there's going to be multiple hordes inside the school. So we've finished a few of our... Oh gosh, the food is down to two. Why are, are we not coming back with the food? Let's do it. They're not picking up the resources. Like something's going on with our squads are not dropping off resources like they're supposed to. Building clear. There's no capacity because there's no wood. So we're, we're having some sort of issue here. I need to resolve this. That should make a difference. We're reassigning a bunch of our workers to gather wood because the first wood 
collection assignment completed. And as there were so many assignments that I had, all those other assignments went away. I, I don't need 10 workers here either. Two there, there, 27. Wood is our top priority. This is me learning lessons as we play. Absolutely necessary. Uh, our other squad can't drop anything off though. And I, that I don't get. Why will they not uh, put resources in? Because we're missing the one wood? Can we go back to that? Will they drop things off now? No, oh, I guess we can go get the car while we're uh, not doing anything else useful. Let's hope that our scavengers actually bring short-term what we need here so we can get back to whatever's going on because our resource capacity is nowhere near full. We're definitely going to stay put tonight. We're hungry. We're having issues. The obvious trick there is just get their attention. Haha! -ha, finally! Squad! That worked. The repair's done. The repairs are created some sort of glitch where we couldn't do anything else but repair at that time so we couldn't drop resources in now we've got to go let's retrieve go. let's actually go there first it's not just the standard hordes it'll take some time for them to integrate let me find some jobs and shelter for them on my way we have no time for that Oops. interrogate them now and get as much info as you can oops my bad nothing to eat she said integrate i saw that thought it said integrate and right as i clicked the buttons realized that it said interrogate all right well that's another night but for one this is almost done we're at 90 percent assigning far more workers to this is really helping us out now oh Hello, it's a moon night. Okay. I haven't made my way to that school just yet. I know we need to. But I, I want my squads to be uh, a lot healthier than they are at the moment. Any of these tasks, I think that might have been the gather metal objective that we finished. Uh, it's nighttime already. Oh, that's not good. Bad timing there. Very bad timing. Go inside. I just told you to go inside. Really? We just lost that squad. That's ridiculous. We just lost that squad because it didn't follow orders. Get their attention. Attack. Chief, did you hear that? There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, get ready to defend the zone. This group's gonna die too. Both squads tonight. It's freaking wonderful. Here, we only have two. So this all started with myself getting to the end of the night. Just really bad timing. Wrong place, wrong time. That is preventable if you know. Now we know the second squad was because they were already attacking the home base as we're trying to return. And that's not a useful way to take them on either. Uh, a single squad is not going to take those guys out under those circumstances. And now we only have a squad of two. We don't have any spares to put into another squad. And repair-wise, at least we have the resources we need for that. But it's a lot of learning as you go. Oh, no. This is not okay. Are you kidding me? We're going to die. Boy, this is going to be a quick playthrough, huh? I can't believe how many groups have come all at once. 
3 a.m. They won't attack too much longer, but... Morning. Can't believe that's what six, six hordes came after us. Boss, it's been a rough night. Something must have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty. Yeah. If more and more come, our chances of survival will be really low. <laughs> we'll get over this. We have to. We're all that's left of humanity. Well, that was rather crazy. Look at that. Crazy mess. We're still alive though. We are still alive. We got 37 survivors. We got to do what we can to help them. Uh, the food is definitely better. We don't even have another weapon for our latest one. However, we can go pick up all what got dropped here. We lost the house. No, it's structure ruined. All that time and effort to build this house and to have it destroyed without seeing anything happening to it. Of course, I was a little focused on a billion. Take these guys out. This house is infected. There's nothing else we can do right now anyway. Like, why is... I need to assign a worker. Um... Oh, we finished the wood task. Okay, we're going to cancel that construction for now so that we can actually... There we go. Empty out those resources. And we need to create a second squad. We're going to have to take one off of another assignment. Okay, we got just a little bit of time. I'm going to send that squad out way. to pick up <laughs> pick up what the other squad left. And here they come. The door won't hold much longer. But they're going to take out that tower. Okay, well, they took out our tower and the little bit of wood that we had put into it. But tonight's going to be much easier to get through. But here come some more squads. Like, they are pretty relentless at the moment. Of course, we don't even have those towers to help us. We don't have walls. We were literally just trying to put up a large barracks, and I was unable to finish that task. And so here we are. Oh, it's December. It's almost morning. Swarm is upon us. Should be morning by now, but nobody's venturing out because it's December. Shorter days. Do you see these clouds? I've never seen such a big storm. The sky's so dark, the infected might be able to walk in the cloud's shadow during the day. We need to be vigilant. That's that is something we can fix. Repair cost is mighty. There we go, they're gonna come on here soon. That was the one that made me nervous. So at least we'll get this worked on today. Okay, I'll sign a couple to get out here and work on this as well. It's December though, but at least we can prepare the field. And then if we see something, we can have them come back. Just monitor closely for the day. Alright, we need to pull back. Oh, they are so close to done. The place is adapted. They are done. There we go. Oh, and a whole bunch are moving over there as a result. We'll move a squad there over there to defend it. Alright, so that house, we got there in the end. That's That's big. That's very big. We can draw their attention towards us. Okay. 
take it back inside. Food's low. It's already nighttime. That group barely got back to work. But Mood is at least back to satisfied. They have food. Not that we have much left. Our situation is not good, but we're at least back to semi stable. But part of our problem is the game kind of ramps up on you. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Definitely already picking up a few things where we've gone wrong, what we can do better. I think having a third squad would definitely be helpful. We've got a couple weapons right now. Uh, we can get to that third squad relatively soon. Gathering your resources is nice and all, but having that ability to defend feels all the more important. Where we started well and then it quickly went horribly wrong. Um, Going there. Shoot. Can I get there before them? Oh, I clicked on them. It's still not... Are you going to really not let me click on you? That was definitely not the plan. Anyway, we're, we're going to go ahead and call that a first episode where we started to have a, a, a decent start to things inability of me to figure out how to quickly get this constructed how to prioritize its construction put a whole bunch of wrench wrenches in the spokes and it really really held up our progress then with really bad luck and timing we had one massive horde night and it all fell at the exact same time that one of my squads was walking past uh, a house with an infested group in it and we lost that squad moments later. The other squad never even made it back to to base to defend it properly, and we've lost them. Since then, we've started to rebound, and I'm figuring out a few things a bit better than before. Got a long ways to go to be good. This might be a multiple playthrough type uh, series here because there's a good chance that there will be failures along the way as we learn and get better. So tips are very welcome in the comments below. Uh, likewise, there's an algorithm and YouTube is incredibly cruel regarding the algorithm. This is gonna be a popular game, but that also means there's a lot of very large channels that are doing some content for this game, making a smaller channel like mine uh, a bit on the inaccessible side unless you search directly for it or unless you're already a subscriber to the channel. So if you can, take a moment, drop below, click that like button and leave some type of comment including those advice comments on something I'm missing out on totally. I do know and understand already that going for that large house as a barracks, while maybe having a long-term benefit, was very much a risky move, and that's what cost me those two crews. We, do, we did get there in the end, and we're definitely still in one piece, and we have the groundwork to be successful. That mistake hurt, but I understand that one already. But if you have other advice, of course, uh, that is very welcome. I'm Decathlon Gaber. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.